G'day everyone and welcome back to Nat's Knackers Yard. Uh, I'm Nat. This is not my Knackers Yard, this is my driveway. And this is Dave. This is Dave's farewell tour because he's off to meet his new owner. So I've got a top box back on it which looks horrendous. I think we're in the shape of the bike but it serves a practical purpose and I have no need for it once it's gone. And in that top box there's some few bits and pieces including the original brake calipers, the rear mudguard, and a couple of other bits. Um, right, let's give it a go. It just never lets you down, this bike. Oh, well. Last trip, buddy. Last trip. And a massive thank you for being such a wonderful bike. And quite possibly the most comfortable bike I have ever ridden. really until you experience other bikes you realise how comfortable being sat up at this height is. You can just do it for hours. I've never quite understood people complaining about uncomfortable bikes or sore backs. And then um, Monster had this. And it's because it's so comfortable. Too impatient to, so 
Now the advantage here is I just because I can just fast forward the footage here. <laughs>
and there we go that's me back there is a large dave shaped hole in my garage um, potentially in my life but um, really nice guy that bought it um, returning back to biking after kids all that sort of that sort of stuff and it's going to be his commuter bill um, so it will it, it will do it's doing exactly what it should do he's got a longer commute than I have by quite a long way um, and uh, yeah it's going to be uh, well cared for well looked after uh, and more importantly well used because that bike needs to move uh, and certainly more than I was using it for so yeah slightly gutted I'm probably going to regret it several times over um, but um, uh, you need to keep these things moving don't you you need to keep them moving um, a few other odds and sods going on so on kit oh, I haven't shown you the back yet actually kit the back is on and painted and looking pretty good I don't think it's a bit dusty actually not amazing but considerably better than was um, probably needs a bit more wax on it actually fresh paint is always very thirsty in my humble opinion uh, at the front end I've changed the bar ends on it the bar end mirrors I've now got two I didn't like just having one felt weird um, so there on I did have to slide the grip down because I had a gap around the edge which meant that I had to redrill the hole <laughs> nothing is simple ever so you know for the sake of five mil at the end I had to squeeze that down move that across redrill the hole so yeah nothing takes five minutes um, but kit is now squared away um, I've got no intentions of painting any more of kit um, the black on the tank has got a slight sparkle to it which I don't have at the back that might annoy me enough that I do something about it but it's, it's way down on my priority list at the moment um, and besides it is my bike my day bike so kit will get slightly neglected in exactly the same way that Dave did <laughs> it's just it's just reality um, Rat Boy, I'm getting a lot of interest in Rat Boy, don't get me wrong, I'm getting some stupid offers uh, as well, but a lot of interest now. Um, I, I put him up on a bit of a whim because uh, I'm away this weekend, or certainly well, away from Monday, so um, I'll see how it goes. But, you know, it's a Friday evening, maybe I'll get somebody um, uh, legitimately interested. Um, I've had quite a few, uh, and a few piss takers, um, but we'll see how we get on. Um, and then I've got loads of space in the garage. And what do I fill it with? Um, yeah, it, I'd love to say give me suggestions as to what you think I should get, but frankly it's whatever the market's got for me. Um, I thoroughly enjoy doing bigger bikes and I generally enjoy doing it. Um, but maybe it's a 125, I don't know. I, I, I'll see what's available. Uh, I'll see what is available and see what I can get my sweaty little mitts on. But that'll do me for now. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. Uh, I shall catch you later. Have a good one. Cheers.